Welcome back to the Garth Roddy Show. Part two with Dave Garland talking about signage for your business. I mean, I think it's really important that we get to it. And uh, good to have you again because, uh, you know, this is... um, this is an important topic. Everybody's got one of these things. I was thinking about it, though. You talked about in the earlier segment about simplicity being key. Sure. So, um, you know, my thing is, like, why doesn't a restaurant just say, eat here? Gets the point across, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it but does. Then a stop sign doesn't say, and then go. No. We get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. Okay. So, but, yeah, you're right. It's, it, the stop sign is, we're stopping. It didn't say forever. It's simple. <laughs> Don't, yeah, that's right. Yield? Yield. To what? <laughs> <laughs> to temptation. It's true. So signage, we, we see it everywhere, of course. We have to decipher it. Now, we've, we went through the community and saw some interesting signs. There's or a lot of or, them out there. Or lack thereof. Yeah. 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 So one was uh, this sign that comes up, and obviously this sign is for an auto dealer or an auto repair shop. Yes. Now, I'm looking at this and seeing that there's uh, some broken teeth, man, and mm-hmm. things are missing. Well, there's three things that have happened. Number one, uh, it's an old sign. Number two, the owner no longer cares, and it's obvious. Um, And number three is that it's possible that uh, the wrong materials were used. So the biggest tragedy, of course, is that this poor fellow is busy running his business, and meanwhile his sign is sending out all the wrong messages to his market. Well, car twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars or more for a car, and if I think a guy can't put a sign up, make sure his sign's right. Sure, I, I have no confidence. It's entirely possible that he doesn't care. It's entirely possible that he doesn't care about his sign. Doesn't care about his sign because okay. maybe could he be? Maybe he's such a boutique that he's busy enough and he doesn't want any more business. Sure, maybe he's about to go out of business. But the bottom line is that it's not doing anything for the sign market because people are looking around saying, "Wow, I am nervous now. What if my sign turns into that mess?" That it's up there. Well, then they're talking about elemental damage too, because obviously the, the remaining letters we see things that are etched and kind of being eaten away yeah. through, and we have acid rain and all kinds of other things. Uh, these are major concerns. UV rating now has been uh, you've seen it in your in your history of being in 25 years in the business or more that uh, we have to have things now UV rated and uh, ele- uh, for the elements. Sure, and one of the one of the big problems is uh, signs don't last forever, and signs are everywhere. So consequent consequent, we have a large variety of of disrepair out there. Uh, what we probably want uh, is to continue to stay in touch with our customers, if possible, and let them know what can be done to alleviate the deterioration that's taking place as a natural uh, consequence of being outside. You know, some, uh, then there's another, another one we're going to go to where obviously the letter fell off and with binder twine and, and gaffer tape, they kind of fixed this thing. But, you know, here's a federal building. It's a U.S. building, obviously. Um, and uh, there's, there's letter missing. There's a letter missing. Um, it's probably been noticed. It may not have been noticed by the right people. Um, signs do fade into the background, in fairness. Um, people notice it once, um, forget to do something about it, and don't notice it again. Uh, on the other hand, if there was any interest in repairing it, being government, and be careful what I say, but it's probably been delegated up or down the line several times. Uh, maybe it'll get fixed, maybe it won't, but sure, it does reflect badly on the owner of the sign, no matter who it is, government or otherwise. In my early incarnations of different incarnations of, of things that I've done, I used to work in the restaurant business. And one of the restaurant chains I worked for was Drexel. Delhi. Mm-hmm. And Peter Druxerman came from Procter & Gamble. So that's a major branding yes. company. You know, yes. They are very conscious yes. of everything that they goes up. They know what they're doing. So I remember uh, we were going to run a special because I wanted to clear some stuff because we had some extra inventory. And I took, a, I took a marker and I wrote out what the special was. And Peter came in and says, you will never, ever, ever do a handwritten sign. Again. It sends the wrong message yes. to our customers. Yes. And he was adamant. And I remember, I it was in my mid-20s at the time when I took this information and I went, wow, that's how important brand is. He goes, I don't care if we have to throw that product out. It is not, it, that is less important to me than sending the wrong brand. Good design is good for business. Bottom line, um, if you deviate from good design, you do it at the risk of your entire identity. Um, he, has the, he has the right idea and everybody knows Drexies. Right. And they do a good job of maintaining that image. So what you want to be careful of is sending out a message accidentally because you're trying to save time right. or trying to save money right. or trying to help the new guy feel good by here, here make a sign. Uh, the, the results speak for themselves. We have clutter of signage out there. We have bad signage out there. It is the responsibility of the vendor to supply good quality signage that gets the job done. But at the same time, we can't 
change the world and we also can't be there for every sign that they need. Now there's another one we went out to the community and you've uh, graciously removed the letters of the company although of course I've studied signs a bit and you know and I do eat food this is a restaurant sign. Have you sign. seen that sign? Right. I have, see, I have <laughs> seen that sign and there's a sign where there's actually it's a franchise operation mm -hmm. um, an operation that has a brand an operation that needs to be make sure it's maintained and all of a sudden we see this sign uh, that it's looking cracked yes. it's looking in very bad disrepair um, you know, and someone's livelihood is underneath that sign. I think what happens sometimes uh, is that that uh, uh, signage signage takes uh, a back seat to some of the other concerns for the operator. Uh, in this particular case, it was a cheap sign, cheaply made, uh, badly constructed. Uh, I've digitally removed the identity uh, on behalf of the owner because it probably is one of those things where the sign is up there. The, person's busy running their business and doesn't realize what's happened to their sign, but all the potential customers know what's happened. The existing customers don't care. The potential ones are going, I don't think I want to eat food there. Very interesting. Uh, one of the things I, I would comment on when there was, um, you know, driving south to my house, um, one day I was driving along and noticed there was another pizza restaurant chain that had changed its logo, changed its sign. And I, I was driving along thinking, oh, I feel like I'm having a slice. And I've really never stopped there, but I saw... But you I, saw I, the stop I, sign I, that said, don't go. Yeah. I, well, I saw the stop. I saw the, this one here, actually. No, it was a brand new logo. The, obviously, the corporation had changed the logo. So I ended up going in there to get a pizza slice. Now, I'm standing there, and of course, you know me, I'm... I'm, I'm inquisitive, so I see a bunch of other people standing there. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm wondering, like, how many people have time like I do right now to go stop and get a pizza slice? And I said to the people, I said, uh, why did you stop here? They go, oh, I, I just saw the sign. Now, and I talked to the owner, and I said, is it busy today? He goes, we just put the sign up, and we're busier than we've ever been. He, this was a long-standing logo of a pizza chain mm -hmm. that now just re had changed it, vibrant, new, uh, well-lit, mm -hmm. and... Uh, immediate increase in business. This guy wasn't even ready for it. That's how much a sign can make a difference. So even changing or revamping your sign, talk about that. No sign is a sign of no business. Uh, good, good signage will draw business. Just, just think for a moment of driving down the highway when you have nothing else to do. You said you were driving home. You really do have nothing else to distract you other than the road in front of you, which is usually just well laid out for you. That means that your eyes can scoot around the landscape and check out new signs. That's why high visibility areas are so important. A new sign showing up in an established business will get attention because it's different and new and the eye picks it up instantly. You know, when you're talking about uh, the uh, idea of, of, uh, of people not investing because maybe in these times mm -hmm. they kind of go, you know, I can't afford to change a sign. But based on that pizza store, I'd have to say it would be a darn good investment to sort of uh, revamp, redecorate your sign. Another problem with our industry is that we not only have suppliers that lack creativity, we also have suppliers that lack creative solutions. And consequently, a buyer can be led to believe that the solution to their need is a certain amount of money which is beyond their budget when really the supplier lost sight of the true intention and that was to solve a need, to maybe, meet a need. Maybe we go to a break, we come back for a break, we can talk about some innovation or innovative ideas that you came up with but maybe weren't as, as uh, price intensive sure. but actually accomplished something for the client right. and it was a, a good stop gap right. and it wasn't looking like a compromise, right. it looked like a good decision. Can right. we do that? Sure. All right, we're going to come back and talk about maybe some things you could do that, to tweak it a bit that'll be you know, effective and uh, maybe less expensive. But it is all about your brand. We'll be back with more of Dave Garland and myself, Garth Riley, on The Garth Riley Show. Stay with us.